Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Imperial Agent Edition. Now, when we left off, we had just spoken to a couple of people. Of course, what else would we be doing? But otherwise, they have told us to come to the Balmoran Arms Factory. As we can see, it has actually been cleared out sufficiently by this fellow ahead of us here, by the looks of things. And we are going to be, uh, apparently, disabling some internal sensors but they appear not to be active right now because apparently someone else has already done some of them which is a little disappointing I have to say well let's see what we can do here should we just take out this fellow instead maybe maybe this has something to do with the quest we might be able to let's just see what happens here let's just eliminate this Yes, there we go. Okay, so we actually do have a bonus, but I don't think it's actually going to be too necessary for us. So, yeah, let's just not participate in that too much. We are, however, going to be making our way over to the generator and using this console. Deactivating that, thank you very much. Then we will, of course, be attempting to, well, obviously... Disable the internal sensors and so forth. Now, yes, there we go. Okay, it has now come back and we can now interact with it. That's wonderful. And now we just need a couple more of those. How many more, though? Well, how many more are in this area? That's what I mean to say, of course. So, let's just see. What is this? Oh, it's a lore object. Okay, well, we may as well take that, I suppose. What else is there here, though? Destroy the powered down droids. Where are the powered down droids? That's the thing here. That doesn't... Ah, there we go. We have some internal sensors there, but unfortunately we're going to have to take care of business here too. There is actually a powered down droid over there. There it is. Okay, so we have one over there. Okay, at least we know what one looks like now, so we can actually see it from quite far away. It's not actually a very small thing. So that's not too bad at all. There we go. Wow, that's quite some muzzle flash right there. And now let's just see what is going on here. Okay, I can't really see any other droids. Ah, I can see some internal sensors, though. They're over there. Let's see if we can actually get over there without aggroing anything. There we go. Thank you. Now, any more powered-down droids? Yes, there's one over there. Okay, so we still have one more sensor to do. And then we will have another two droids as well. This is actually a very large mission area, so I should, in theory, be able to do this even over here. So, I'm going to try and move ahead a little bit. Ah, of course. Yes. Okay, let's do some suppressive fire and see if that can actually eliminate this. Wow, that actually did a lot of damage. Take a look at that. That is just amazing. As I was saying in the previous episode, ambush and then suppressive fire. Suppressive fire just seems to be... An amazing ability, really. So, okay, let's see now. That is a powered down droid that just got destroyed, I'm pretty sure, by our comrades here in the same area. So that's a little unfortunate, but nevertheless, suppressive fire will deal with these fellows. Wow, very nicely as well. Okay, so let's see. Anything else here? No. Okay, there's another sensor console. Yes, we are going to be attempting to disable that, and then we will be destroying the powered down droids too i've been hearing grumbling lately people saying the republic abandoned balmora well i may not be republic army anymore but i'm still a patriot so don't say it to my face the treaty may not have left us much choice but the people of the republic are still behind you ah well there we have it he is Quite the Patriot, Grand Marshal Jaquetta, I believe his name is, and we are no doubt going to be seeing if we can stop him and his diabolical plan. Well, <laughs> diabolical plan to save millions of lives. Yep. Definitely definitely an evil doer, I suppose you could say. <laughs> no, definitely not, but nevertheless we will be attempting to take out this droid and then destroy this, thank you. Now there's only one more to go. I'm actually gonna just check the map here and see. Okay, so there are actually power down droids ahead of us, so I'm just going to be making my way forward, and we'll see if we can find the last one. It is a main mission, after all. It is a, well, 
Yes, it is a planet mission, in fact, and that's a Nashadar mission as well, so we need to travel there afterwards. So let's just complete this, of course. And now, let's see, what are we going to do? Where is the last droid that we require? There we go. Lovely ambush. Take out these guys. Even the guys behind the wall there. That is just amazing. I do really like that. And wait a minute. Where are the droids? We need those droids. Maybe we can find one. Oh, never mind. We actually have a secondary security hub here. I suppose we could use that. And it appears there's actually some stuff going on here, too. We have some ambushers. How dare you. Let's stun that fellow and use a leg shot on him and see if we can actually move away a little bit. Oh, of course. Of course he has some sort of ability that pulls us toward him. What else would we expect right now? There we have it. Okay. Okay, there's the other security hub, so I suppose we have to do that anyway. I'm hopeful that we'll be able to find a droid. There are a lot of remains around here of droids that have been destroyed by other people, so I can only hope that we will be able to. Locate Volargen, or Volargen, however you want to say it. Okay, so let's see here. I'm actually going to kill all of these guys if I can. Yes, there we go. Now, let's see if we can get into range here. That damage, really. That damage is just insane. Really, really nice. Okay, so there's a power down droid. Excellent. I am Marshal Chiquetta here. I want to talk about sacrifice. My troops and I gave up our homes in the Republic. But the rest of you, you weren't given a choice. Your planet was taken from you. You're giving up everything to get it back. That's the real deal. Ah, he's attempting to inspire all of the Balmorans to fight against us. Obviously, they are already doing just that. And here we have it. Volargen right in front of us. Let's do this. We're just going to start off with... Okay, eliminating his bodyguards in less than a second. That is rather impressive, to say the least. Oh, of course he has Terminate. He does have Terminate, really. Wow, that is quite impressive, I have to say. But thankfully enough, we have Kaleo, who is going to absolutely destroy his damage with her healing, obviously. So, that is just amazing. Now, let's see if we can get them below a little bit of HP here, so we can actually get takedown to work. There we go. A lovely takedown right there. And eliminate him. Very nice indeed. Now we can head back to Colonel Vrain that says Captain Rigel's name a little bit funny in my opinion. But nevertheless, let's see what we actually gained there. Hut affection token and some boots. Nothing really to worry about there. And we will now just be heading onward. So, let's see here. Mm, we need to head upstairs by the looks of things and make our way over to, well, technically to infiltrate which we have technically already done, I feel, but also then to use the barricade controls. And we'll see what kind of enemies are up here as well. So, let's see. Ah, oh, okay, apparently a completely free run apart from a droid. Obviously, this droid's going to be a little bit of a difficulty. Maybe not, though. Maybe we can just head in here instead. Appears to be a group phase as well. Okay. Well, this seems relatively simple, doesn't it? Maybe too simple. Darth Lacris, can you read me? I'm lowering the barricades to the Balmoran Arms Factory. I hear you perfectly. We'll start scanning the interior now. Hold on. Someone cut through this interference. Pardon my interruption. I'm Grand Marshal Jaqueda, formerly of the Republic Army. You're about to be overrun with Imperial troops, but this doesn't have to be a bloodbath. Talk to me, Chiquetta. You won't like what I have to say. I'm not a complete fool. Once I realized you planned to lower our defenses, I sent a few friends. Jedi Knight Raylon Niss, reporting. Tempest Squad, reporting. 
Fresh volunteers who have taken a leave of absence to join the Balmoran resistance. Taste of what's coming. You've sent these people to their deaths. If that's true, I'll shed a tear. Go! Go! Okay, well this is going to be rather amusing, isn't it? Because they're probably going to die instantly to our suppressive fire. Yes, the commandos are at least. Very, very quickly indeed. Now let's see if we can get a nice ambush here and then a stun. Wow, we can actually stun a Jedi. That's wonderful. So now let us eliminate this with snipe and maybe a takedown to finish off. There we go. Thank you. And now we can use the barricade controls once again and lower them successfully. Can you hear me? This channel is still open. Did you get her? Send a Jedi. How does it make you feel watching me kill someone like that? I can't say I didn't enjoy the show, but your timing could be better. My people are performing a full scan of the factory now that the defenses are down. I'll patch you into the report. My lord, we're detecting unusual signals from inside the factory. What appears to be a, a hyperspace beacon. It shouldn't be possible. It must have taken them decades. Don't underestimate their engineers or their resources. What can you do? In theory, starships could follow the beacon and jump-in system almost directly overhead. The Republic is flying reinforcements straight to the Balmoran Arms Factory, and bypassing our defenses. You know where to look. Scan for enemy transport approaching the factory. Picking up. There are dozens of ships out there. Silhouette is Republic Special Forces. Triumph class. This is how they did it during the war. Multiple strike teams, strategic objectives, one Jedi per military squad. They took entire planets. They know we see them. They're rushing to land now. If they're heading to the factory, we can stop them from the ground. Agreed. Take out the landing platforms and guidance systems. I'll have attack squadrons blow those ships out of the sky. Fail me now, and we perish with Balmora. Well, I will not fail, that is for sure. And this is our first implant, I believe. That's actually very nice. Okay, let us take that and equip it. And now we, of course, have... You and me? The repelling the invasion quest. So, returning to Colonel Vrain can go on the back burner for now, and we will then be heading on to destroy the guidance systems and various docked fighters as well. So, let us exit here and make our way up. By the looks of things, it appears to be an elevator, and wow, that's actually pretty good timing. I don't know what Darth Lacris is talking about. We appear to have pretty good timing, considering the elevator just came down when we required it. And. Are we going to say that, yeah, this is, of course, one of the shallowest elevators that we have ever seen? Ah, uh, yes. That is just my luck, isn't it? The long ones, I have to wait the entire time until the elevator comes back up, but the shallow ones, no, it's just right there when you need it. But nevertheless, we are going to be prepared to eliminate many of these opponents. Let's do this. Nice ambush. Yes, there we go. I love the sound of the ambush shot, I have to say. I really do like that. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, so... Hmm, let's see. Okay, well, we're going to be heading over here first. I'm going to try and avoid as much as I can. Let's go on our stealthy mount. Maybe that would actually help us out a little bit here. Ah, it appears as though someone has actually already done this. I'm actually a little bit surprised that... Wait a minute. This is actually a... Yeah, this is a planet mission. That's exactly why there is a Sith Marauder doing this, as well as an agent, of course. We are the agent. And I suppose I'll just be heading on to the others then, but... Yes, it appears as though the area here is swamped with people, or at least maybe... The respawn rate is not as good as I would otherwise hope. I think this guy's already done this one, so maybe we'll be lucky. Maybe we'll be lucky. I'm not entirely sure. But nevertheless, let us plant the device. Thank you very much. And make our way over to the next one, which is going to be all the way by the docks over there. I'm pretty sure that other guy is going to actually be doing it as well. So This is Darth Lacris. Our ships are closing on the Republic transports. Keep destroying those landing pads, and there will be no escape for the enemy. Exactly, that is what I am attempting to do, Darth Lacris. How dare you? How dare you interrupt me? But nevertheless, let's just head up here and see what we can do. Ah, yes, we can actually do this now. Wonderful. 
There we go. And now let's see if we can actually destroy some guidance systems as well. Oh, the guidance system. Wow, there, wow, there's actually a huge area for us to destroy the guidance systems. I'm very hopeful that we'll be able to get those. Down six Republic transports. I'm calling in additional ground air weaponry. Okay, now, can we get some more? Well, there's one. Goodness me, there appears to be a lot of... Ah, there we go. We can actually get that one over there done. I hope. If we can actually get there before anyone else. I don't know why this isn't in a phase. Maybe it would be a good idea to put it in a phase or to make the respawn time five seconds. Maybe that would be a good idea as well because it seems as though those two poles over here... Well, one of them obviously we got, but the other one has been smoking for quite some time. I know, quite a bad habit, but nevertheless, <laughs> we are going to be heading on over to the last docked fighter, if I can. If I can actually get up there. There we are. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, so where is the last fighter? It seems to... Ah, yes, it's up there, of course. Okay, let's hopefully be able to find some guidance systems over here as well. It seems to be a little bit of a less traveled area. Oh, well, apparently not, because there seems to be a smoking one there and one behind us as well. So, yeah, not incredibly lucky about our guidance system placement right now. But maybe we can find a couple more. Ah, what about that? Are they guidance system? Nope, okay, apparently not. They are just lights, and the others have already been destroyed. Only a few targets remain airborne, and they've got nowhere to go. But one transport slipped past us. I'm sending in ground troops. You intercept that ship at the factory's upper landing pad. No one survives this attack. Oh, I agree. I agree, Darth Lacris. We will attempt to do just that. So, let us find one more guidance system, and then we will be able to head on into the actual factory itself. Apparently, we were just walking through something that wasn't even designated as the factory because we haven't even infiltrated it yet, which is remarkable. But there it is. We have destroyed all of the guidance systems. Now we can locate the docked ship, which will be... where? Ah, inside, of course it is. So let's make our way in, and we'll see what we can do. Hmm. Well, I have to say that I am quite happy with our choice of advanced class, because obviously I think we would probably have to deal with a lot of problematic... Well, I would say that stealth does actually eliminate most of the challenge in the game, and even though that is rather cool to have on one character, I don't think it would be a good idea to have on a second one, or at least not right now anyway. So, let us now disable the force field and see what's going on here. Oh, we actually have to speak to Greystar. Wait, have I disabled this? Yes, I have. Okay, so I actually have to fight through all of these units, but that shouldn't be a problem because suppressive fire is at hand. Oh, yes. And I wouldn't be able to do that, would I? I wouldn't be able to kill all of those units in one ability if I was playing the other class. Or at least I don't think I would be able to anyway. So let's just see here. Can I actually head around? Think I can? Nope, maybe not. Okay, so apparently they've placed things in just the right place, or should we say the wrong place for us, but the right place for them to always aggro. So there is that to take into account, of course. And of course, Kaleo is focusing the same target as us, so we do have to fight quite a few more than we would otherwise like to. Maybe we'll be able to get past these, though. Yes, there we go. Okay, so what do we want to do here? Well, I think we'll probably start off with two snipes, and then we'll go for an ambush to get the cast time down, and then maybe a suppressive fire would be a good idea. Let's just see how that goes. And we've already got it down to 50%. i got to say, that's actually pretty nice. Obviously, we have... Hmm, have to worry about our energy a little bit there. Okay, another suppressive fire, and that should actually finish it off, hopefully. Yep, there we go. Wow. I am still so incredibly impressed by that, but nevertheless, we are very, very close by to Greystar. And it appears that he is actually an alien? Yes, he is! Wow. Okay, I was expecting him to be some sort of human or maybe some sort of humanoid that, well, was more human-like, I suppose. And wait a minute, are we actually... Oh, we're fighting these as well, of course we are. 
Okay, let's see if we can actually take this guy out as well. I'm out, actually out of energy. Can you believe it? Yes, I think I probably can. So, let's talk to him. Kemish was wrong about me. I came to Balmora on a mission to eliminate your cell. Those deaths? I let them happen. All in order to stop you. Let's do it. I don't think we have any problems here. Wow, he actually punched us. That was quite the severe punch, I have to say. Well, let's get into cover, shall we? And a nice ambush to start this off. And then suppressive fire. Oh, of course, he is going to stun us. Wow, he's actually using an orbital bombardment attack. That is rather amusing considering where are the missiles coming from? Yes, exactly. They are actually coming from nowhere because we're inside. How dare you, Greystar? How dare you bend the laws of physics for your own ends? Well, I suppose that is exactly what he is meant to do. Okay, so now we must head on to locate the docked ship. But for now, I will be ending this episode of here. And next time on Star Wars The Old Republic, Imperial Agent Edition. We will locate the docked ship and see what's going on with that and repel the invasion, hopefully. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.